Hi, I'm Dr. Jeremy Marks. I'm the Assistant Professor of Trombone at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. I want to take a few moments today to talk about this year's North Carolina Middle School Etude for all district and all state auditions. This year's solo is The Three Miniatures, number one by Keith Snell. Let's take a look at it. So this year's middle school solo is The Three Miniatures, number one, by Keith Snell. You notice at the beginning it says, with spirit. So we want to make sure that this keeps moving. It needs to have an energy to it throughout. One way that will help create that energy is not only through tempo, but also through style. You notice there's many slurs, accents, tenudos, and staccatos. I recommend practicing all forms of articulations over your scales. Since this particular solo is in F major, I recommend doing it on the F major scale. So you'll notice as I perform the solo, there's a few moments where I use alternate positions. I like to use F in sixth position when it's preceded by a C. This helps clean up the technique a little bit and helps keep things flowing. Plus, it also shortens the distance of having to move positions. Obviously, since F can be played in sixth and the C preceding it can be played in sixth, there's no need to move the slide. If we would have played the F in first, we would have had to go from first position all the way to sixth position very quickly. And that can disrupt our technique, our tone, and the overall flow of the solo. So I highly recommend you consider using sixth position for some of these concert Fs. You notice through the solo that we have a wide range of dynamics. At measure 15, we start at forte. Later in the solo, we get to piano. And to end the solo, we play fortissimo. So we want to make sure we give contrast to all of our dynamics as we play along. As low brass players, we tend to play loud pretty well. So you want to make sure you spend some time on your soft playing. I recommend doing some long tones, perhaps some scales, and try to apply it to the solo as you're working on it. If you can execute your soft dynamics well, you won't have to work so hard to play loud for the fortes and fortissimo. 